Hi, I'm Anna Gigi Joseph and I'm a cake artist. I love working with wafer paper. So today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful lily flower out of wafer paper. Okay, so let's start. So the things you need to do this lily flower is uh, my chef's choice uh, uh, combo for uh, this flower and many other flowers. It comes with five colors of airbrush colors, two gel colors, and two dust colors. So we're gonna use three or four items from this combo to you uh, uh, for this flower, okay? Now that we need also, we need a airbrush machine, a little bit of uh, water, a cutter, a lily cutter, or you can actually print out template from the computer. You need wires, uh, floral wires which is um, 26 or 28 gauge white floral tape uh, vayner for lily flowers if you don't have the vayner I will show you uh, how to vein without the vayner uh, we have a Dresden tool uh, stamens flower stamens a pencil a flat brush two flat brush okay one is number six and one is number three and a very thin brush, preferably double, uh, triple zero, okay? Uh, spoons to uh, place your flowers to shape them. Uh, and very good sharp scissors. It has to be good quality scissors, okay? And last but not least, of course, we need wafer paper. Okay, I'm using zero grade wafer paper. So I have my wafer paper here. I'm using zero grade wafer paper, the thin paper. And uh, wafer paper, there's a smooth side and there's a rough side, okay? I'm gonna use two papers together to cut my petals. So for this flower, we need six petals, but one petal, we need two pieces of wafer paper. So I'm gonna cut it together. using 26 gauge wire and I have cut these wires in five pieces one wire in five okay now I have a bunch of wafer paper uh, petals here I'm taking two and with the I'm matching the rough side and the rough side I'm keeping it the rough side up okay dip your brush in water we need only a little water and brush it on one side of one petal. Okay. Place the wire. Press it nicely. And put your petal on your vayner and press it nicely. So you have your petal with the uh, with the veining, and then you place it on your spoon so that it can. This will dry in about two, three minutes. Okay, so keep this aside and repeat for other petals. You need all together six petals. So if you don't have a veiner, what you can do is do the petal like before and before veining, take a notebook, okay? Place it on the paper, okay? And you can use a Dresden tool, Dresden tool, the sharp side. And what you do is you just draw the veins like this. The, the lily flower veins are up so you can do this. 
and you have your wings and then you can keep it on your sorry on your spoon like this so uh, how to make the flower centers I'm using uh, pre-made flower stamens uh, and uh, I'm gonna take four of them okay and just going to bend it okay like this I have a 18 gauge wire 18 gauge wire okay I have my flower tape what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna use the full width I'm gonna use only half the width wire and I am going to use a thread to secure the stamens to the wire so I have my six petals ready dried okay now we are going to color them so from my uh, wafer paper flower combo, color combo of Chef's Choice from me, Anna Gigi, um, what I'm going to use is light pink, green, and the yellow dust. Okay, I'm going to show you other flowers in other videos, how to use the other colors also. And you airbrush very light coat like this. This is it. This is all you need. You take another petal just from the bottom and just go up. That's it. Next, we are using the leaf green uh, airbrush color. Just a few drops. Uh, we, I have some black gel color and yellow petal dust from sunflower petal dust from my combo here in this palette. And just gently so now take your petal and dust yellow now take your uh, thin brush and apply the black dots on the petal take your petal and just randomly Put some dots.
enjoyed today's video to purchase this combo i have put the link in the description column below see you 